I think the nozzle had a little bit of buildup. I think it's cleared out now. Here in New Hampshire, we get a lot of snow, and at times, it seems like it's never going to let up. But then, I had an idea. It all started with a video I put out on my TikTok channel showing this flamethrower. Now, you might not realize these things are actually legal in nearly every state in the U.S., even in California. The one I'm showing you here is made by the company Exothermic Technologies, and it's called the Pulse Fire. Now, what makes this one unusual is it also has a battery inside. The battery creates a spark, just like the one inside your engine in your car, and that's going to ignite the fuel that sprays Whoa. through the end. And you probably think what on earth would anybody need a flamethrower for? Well, these things actually have a surprising number of practical uses. But the real question that I got asked hundreds of times on TikTok was, could you actually use one of these flamethrowers to get rid of snow? Now, before we can answer that, we've got to get the flamethrower ready. So I fully charged the internal battery, and now we've got to add our fuel. Now, this thing uses a combination of diesel fuel mixed with gasoline. Now, many people will vary their formulas, but I'm doing a 50-50 mix. Now, the reason I'm not just using gas alone is it's too flammable. As soon as it would come out of the flamethrower would just kind of ignite completely. By adding the diesel, you're going to thicken it up a bit. Now, this thing has a built-in electronic fuel pump that's also powered by that battery. But what does the ignition and sets that flame off are these two electrodes. And if you think those look familiar, that's because it's the exact same setup that they use in a residential oil burner. And with my gas and diesel mixed up, I've just got to add it to the internal fuel tank on the flamethrower, then I'm ready to go. There we go. I think the nozzle had a little bit of buildup. I think it's cleared out now. <laughs> now I did notice this thing was behaving a little bit strangely, and I think it's because it was about 15 degrees when I was making this video, and that diesel that fuel might be getting kind of too thick. If you hadn't seen that video I made during the summit, take a look at the difference here. I am shooting these flames out easily the full 25 feet. Now, I'm not just destroying this field. Those plants you see that I'm burning up are called bracken ferns. Normally, ferns are a pretty cool plant, but these ones are far from it. They're toxic to animals, and they don't really provide anything good for the environment. So the best advice is to get rid of these things. So that means you can either use a chemical or you could do something like this. Now, it certainly is effective, and I can't deny that it really is a fun tool to use. And this is a common practice for many farmers. But now I wanted to answer that question. Can this flamethrower do any kind of damage to snow? Can it melt it? Can it even eliminate the need? Need for a snowblower. So I'm going to try to melt some of this ice on the driveway. It's only about an inch thick, so we'll see if it can do any damage and melt it up. Now these results are not exactly good. That area in the middle was already melted, and it did melt some of this ice. In fact, you can see that water running down, but it's not nearly the kind of result I was looking for. So now for my final test, I'm gonna concentrate all the flame just on this pile of snow. This stuff is soft, it's by no means a block of ice. A little slow starting up there. <laughs> well, certainly turned it weird looking, but it barely melted that snow. So when you think about the amount of output coming out of this, it's a lot of fire and it is very ineffective. So I'd say the verdict is a flamethrower is not effective at clearing snow or ice. In fact, it could barely melt much at all with all of that fuel that I was burning in flames blowing out. Much more effective tool for kind of during the warmer months where you want to start control brush fires, get rid of weeds, clear fields. Now I know it might seem completely ecologically terrible, but I would still prefer using this as opposed to a chemical control to get rid of large amounts of weeds or grassy areas. Whoa. And if you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos coming up.